In this video, I'm going to show you the leg workout I did at the Pro's Gym in Columbus, Ohio while attending the Arnold Classic this year. Now we kick things off with the leg press. This is not my favorite leg press machine by far, but we're working in a crowded gym here, lots of energy. So just had to go with what was available to us here. As you can see for guys who are shorter in stature like me, I'm five foot seven, weighing in at 148 pounds right now, uh, 48 years young. And uh, you can see that the range of motion is small when it comes to this machine here for shorter guys like myself um, basically bottoming out here i wanted to go deeper want to get lower but kept bottoming out uh, but still felt pretty damn good still felt great tension in the quadriceps here um, a great way to to get warmed up so pretty much using the stack when it came to this machine here just Again, utilizing what we have here. Now we got Justin, one of the members of the Lose Fat Get Jacked Inner Circle. He started off as a one-on-one -on -one coaching client a few years ago, so I've had the great privilege of working with him and his wife uh, throughout the years here and really built up some great um, friendship here, some great camaraderie, and this is the first time meeting him in person, and we just, we gelled. We're, he's 43 years young, um, a lot of similarities. We've gone through a lot of similar challenges in life. Um, just a solid dude, and just so much fun uh, training with him here, but you can see at 5'10", he's able to get a little bit greater range of motion, get a little bit deeper in that squat. Now, Justin has had some back issues in the past that he deals with, uh, like slip disc, disc issues in general, but you can see the energy in the gym here. We got Michael Hearn with uh, NDO Champ in the background there, um, and I got to meet up with Clark Bartram for the first time. I've been following Clark for decades. He was one of my greatest role models when it came to uh, the fitness magazines, magazines back in the day in the 90s there. He was one of those guys who... Um, was on the cover of so many different magazines in EA Sports. He kind of, you showed the transformation of the guy getting off the couch, the bigger belly, and then turning into this ripped fitness model here. So great to meet with him in person. We had a great conversation. I uh, interviewed him for the Unstoppable Fat Loss series that I did. Man, I think that was back in like 2010, uh, maybe even before, and maybe it was 2008. So uh, just great catching up with him here with the leg extension, the unilateral machine here. Not my favorite machine when it comes to working the quads. Um, but really great to focus on one leg at a time here. I like alternating back and forth. Uh, this machine feels so awkward when you're trying to do both legs at the same time. And rather than just doing one leg at a time, alternating back and forth felt pretty cool, keeping that constant tension on one quad uh, when it's in the stretch position, so not fully relaxing in the bottom while the other one is lifting up. But really noticed that my left quadricep was fatiguing a lot quicker than my right quadricep was, was just an off day, maybe that quad felt a little bit tighter, um, but it is brings that awareness, same thing with the, the single leg curl right here, that awareness of one side being more dominant than the other. And it doesn't necessarily mean dominant overall, um, every single day, it could just be that workout. Um, so again, when you're doing like both legs at the same time, it's a little bit more difficult to gauge if one leg is doing more of the work than the other. Here doing the dumbbell split squats here, I've got 80 pound dumbbells in my hand, cranked out 15 reps. This just felt incredible. And I was hesitant to do this exercise after the first two. I'm like, yeah, we could call it a day after that. Uh, but man, I just really got in the zone, got dialed in here um, and it just felt incredible. So. Drop those dumbbells and is talking with Justin here between sets how I have just in recent years, whenever I'm doing split squats um, or anything where it's just like one leg at a time, I like to take a break between legs. So rather than doing one leg for 15 repetitions and immediately switching to the other leg, I mean, it, the limiting factor would be my, my fatigue. Like I'm just gassed. I'm sucking wind at that time. You can see a good overhead view here of LA action going on down there. But um, I, I find that, and that, that back leg is still doing some work. So it's pre-fatigued. I wanna make sure that I'm giving the best to both legs. In the past, like years ago, I would have um, started maybe with the left leg, then go on to the right leg. Then the next set, I'd start with the right leg, but go on to the, and then, set, then the, the left leg after that. Uh, but again, it's like, that one leg wouldn't get as much rest because if you finish off with the left leg and then the next time you're starting with the left leg, it's a little bit pre-exhausted there, even though you're starting with it first. Um, so I just find that it's best to like do one leg, rest for two minutes, do the next leg, rest for two minutes, do the next leg. Uh, that's what works best for me. So I'd love to hear what you're doing there as well. Finished off with some calves. So we got the seated 
calf raise there. Then we moved on to the uh, standing calf raise here. We're doing three sets for all these exercises here. Uh, for the most part, working in the eight to I mean, six to 12 rep range for a lot of the movements there. Other than that, that one set of the dumbbell split squat, we're actually absolutely crushed with 15 reps there. Um, now the thing was, we're talking about calves here because when we were at the expo, um, the Arnold Expo there, Arnold was on stage, he was talking about um, how he prioritized calves when he got called out for his calves being 19 inches when his biceps were, his arms were 21 inches. So um, he started wearing shorts or cutting off his jogging pants to really reveal his calves and train them every single day, um, which is something that I often do as well. In my programming, I will hit calves every single workout and with, with a little bit lower volume each workout because you're hitting them so frequently. Um, but then there's other days where I will absolutely crush my calves like with three exercises and just hammer them, but then need a little bit more rest. So playing around with different approaches and still I just, calves is just one of my stubborn body parts. No matter what I do, it's always been a challenge to build them up. And I have put so much effort in prioritizing them over the years. Um, and they have grown, but it's just one of my smaller body parts. I wish they grew as much as easy as my arms did. Uh, so here we got the expo. We got Arnold walking on stage. Just so amazing being in his presence, uh, listening to the great conversation he had with Jacko uh, on stage there. Just Love the energy, love the, the, the bro science that comes with how he used to train. Also great conversation between Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler. Uh, just freaking awesome walking around the expo uh, with Justin here. You can see outside of the expo getting our picture with Arnold statue there. Uh, meeting up with the jacked geek, Will. Uh, just awesome, always seeing him at the expo each year. Um, got some great swag there. Uh, tons and tons of energy drinks. Just the, the expo itself. Uh, was phenomenal. Just so much energy, so much fun. Uh, afterwards, we went out for dinner. We stayed in a German village here, really cute uh, area of Columbus, Ohio, and um, had a great meal at this place. Um, I love the, the, the outfits that the, the staff was wearing. So I had some Wiener Schnitzel, some potatoes, and I I think that's some beats that I've got there. But overall, um, just an amazing second day here at the Arnold Expo. Just great energy in the gym. That is why I attend um, this event uh, year after year is for that camaraderie in the gym, to be surrounded by other fitness influencers. Um, Will was there at the gym that day. I think he was hitting chest and triceps while I was hitting legs. He actually trained legs earlier that morning too, uh, beyond fitness, one of the other gyms there. But it's just, it's just so great to be surrounded by people who, like Will and others who I know through online, through the YouTube channels, how we've connected here, uh, through social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, and to meet each other finally in person, have some great conversations, uh, being around other influencers that I that just inspire me as well, as well as the the pros that you're just training next to guys um, like Michael Hearn that you saw there, like Clark Bartram, who's a huge role model for me. So being surrounded by that energy, and again, uh, my client Justin there, uh, just training with him, having the opportunity to work with him. We've been talking online for years and really got to know each other, but nothing beats training in person to really connect with each other, to really build each other up in person in the moment, just so much better than just the online presence there. So I really do everything I can to get out. Whenever I travel, I like to connect and reach out to my fellow subscribers here on the Loose Fat Get Jack channel, as well as members of the Loose Fat Get Jack inner circle and my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. Just any chance I can get to train with you guys, to meet each other in person, just solidify the bonds that we have built over these years is absolutely incredible. So this was a leg work that we're following. Again, I shared the training split I'm doing this month in the Lose Fat Get Jacked Inner Circle, which is day one is chest and back. So workout one is chest and back. Workout two is actually quadriceps. So today, because we're in this gym, we wanted to hit it all. We weren't just going to focus on quads one day and hamstrings another workout. We just wanted to hit legs knowing that we were only getting three workouts here at the Arnold Classic, here at the Pros Gym. So we hit a full leg workout there. Um, so typically in the program, again, chest and back workout one, quads workout two, uh, shoulders and arms workout three, hamstrings workout four. I really love separating quads and hamstrings. When I don't do that, I may do like a, a compound focus leg workout. And the next time I do a leg workout, it's an accessory focus leg work. So it may be like 
hack squat, barbell Romanian deadlift, maybe um, the glute machine, something along that lines for the, the compound workout. And then like the accessory workout, maybe like leg extensions, leg curls, uh, hip flexion, uh, inner thighs, outer thighs, that kind of thing too, where it's not beating you down. It's just an easy workout to feel, but you're really hitting all the all the muscles within the, the legs there to fully develop them then. So this is our split that we're following right now in the loose fat get jacked inner circle. Justin's following along with me along with, we're all following the exact same workout plan together, same workout plan that I'm doing. So if you wanna join us again, visit loose fat get jacked today, click on that link for the loose fat get jacked inner circle. And we would love to welcome you in our community, share this experience together, learning and growing together throughout this process is really what this is all about, building each other up and bringing out the best in each other. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know fellow brohood, benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. Um, as well, more than anything, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your feedback, share your insights on this workout, how you like to structure your leg training. If you incorporate some single limb movements in there, when you're doing uh, split squats, do you take a rest in between each set? I would just, each between each leg, that kind of thing. I'd really love to hear what your experience are like again learning and growing together and before you go don't forget to download your free guide lose fat get jacked i'll include a link down below in the description as well as a top pinned comment have yourself an amazing day i'll catch you in the next video